So we're doing the Q&A, um, and again, I don't take my video, um, when I was saying when the Q&A be, um, I don't think it was recommended by YouTube, and YouTube kind of dumped it in the rabbit hole, as they say. So, apologies to many people who hadn't seen that video, because it kind of got dumped in the rabbit hole, I suppose. I said something, and the YouTube didn't like us open. Um, so, again, we have a few questions here. That, um, I think it's four questions in total. Ho I'm hoping why, so bear with me, because it's, you know... It, I, it might be a bit wobbly because again this video kind of was stopped on the rabbit hole for some reason um so Sean Mac asks about we see your lion's tea um you know uh, some people could call me a West Brits by saying what tea you like um but you know I, any tea any tea bags would be fine sure um as long as I get my tea I sure look at the cow the cow so you know we don't we don't um we don't we don't so we spare no expense um you know we need our tea we need to keep going because uh, we don't keep going without the tea we're nothing <laughs> such a statement um but there you go um but any any tea bags would be fine um but most likely you know the majority of the time i get barry's tea um it wouldn't be lion's tea that'd be too uh west but i suppose and um, no that's anybody that is likes lion's tea um okay goat mon um asked thoughts on scotland and wales and scottish independence so first of all i do take um Scotland and Wales, you know, entitled to independence, you know, again, they have to fault with it, and it's up to the people that, um, take, for example, in Wales, so they want to be free, um, to have a referendum and say, you know, we want to break away from the United Kingdom, be our own country, um, again, it's, I'm, to again, I'm totally, you know, in the alleyway if they want that, um, I don't want them to be stopped again, the United Kingdom saying, you know, we, we won't let you, um, again, it's up to the people who live there, as we've seen with the Scottish referendum for independence a few years ago, um, you know, a lot of people said they wanted to remain, and a lot of people did say they wanted to go and leave the United Kingdom. But uh, in, part in particular, Scotland now, because obviously, Scotland, um, obviously, with Brexit, too, take for example, Brexit has caused so much annoyance in Scotland, um, compared to Wales or England, uh, uh, the whole of England, and um, Northern Ireland, too, Scotland and Northern Ireland, two, co two areas that have you know, really felt Brexit and really have been annoyed by Brexit and people in Scotland have been very annoyed because they want to be in the European Union. Um, and the vast majority they do and that's why the, you know, I do think it'd be, it's, it's probably in the next, probably by night, uh, probably by um, 20, I say by 2023, 20, 20, um, they could be free and I might just be totally honest with you because that's the way it's kind of going because a lot of people do want Scottish independence. Um, whatever about Wales, it'll probably be years and years and years before Wales um think about leaving um the Union with Britain. Um you know, I, and again I don't know would the United Kingdom allow that. I really, really don't know because the United Kingdom have lost again, if you know your colonial history, and um, they used to rule over half the world, now they have very little, only a few islands, um, along with the mainland UK. Um, very little compared to what they had. Um and then obviously they only have the Commonwealth, which you know, the Queen's the head of the Commonwealth. Um, but they don't have really any say in you know the Commonwealth, um, Canada, New Zealand, um, all that. They still independent countries, Queen's the figurehead had really, um, but yeah, I'm all for it. And again, that's a long, long statement there. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. I think there was another question, um, from YouTube again. Just bear with me. Oh yeah, what's your favorite song? Yes, um, we are, and uh, do do I hope I'm saying that right. The last name. Um, what's your favorite song? As I said, come back, Paddy Wiley to buy Jim stuff. But any kind of cabin song would. Be up my alleyway, I have to say, and uh, what the young kid, the young kids say, um, and why? Why would it be my favorite song? Well, to be honest, I kind of was brought up, you know, with my father and hearing it on the radio and the local radio, Northern Sound. You hear "Come Back, Paddy" by Little the Ballad Jim stuff, um, and it's a kind of symbol. It's kind of a song that represents Calvin, and you know, everybody always says. You know, did Paddy Wiley ever come back to Calvin when you mention Calvin? Or why do some people from Calvin say, hey, when you mention you're from Calvin, people say you're tight, who are? Um, and I'd be like, oh no, I'm <laughs> not. Um, but then again, I hide my wallet and I put a peel in the orange in my pocket and I'm away from Calvin. <laughs> um, um, but no, um, you know, that, that's kind of the reason why, because we heard it when I was growing up and it's good, good song, it's a really, really good song and it really shows Calvin. Um, really just in a put Paddy Jim stuff on the map that song a lot that that's what put Paddy Jim stuff on the map come back Paddy Wiley to Paddy Jim stuff and the Dubliners singing it um, Luke Kelly singing it and Daniel O'Donnell singing it and Margot singing it you know all them singing it put, put Paddy Jim stuff on the map and that's what that's what Paddy Jim stuff is well known now because of that song um, and I think when Paddy Wiley did write it um, he was dared I think it was a I think it was a ten pound or something like that he was dared by people in the pub 
to write a to write a song, um about Bally Jim stuff, and he do, he don't he really scored it, and I don't think he realized at the time as far I think I remember that's the history of it, um and he did write it, and I don't think he I don't think he ever knew, and I don't think he ever knew it would be ever so famous as this, um a simple kind of represents Calvin, and another song too, just a long short long story thought, um the Calvin girl too, the Dublin sang that um, you know a beautiful song too from about Calvin. Um, like there's many many other songs. The Shack and Paddy Here too is a great song. Um, like there's many many other songs. I could take many other songs from Calvin. Um, they have such great meaning to the county and represent the county so much. So yeah, that's a long long story. Hey, um, about that. Um, yeah, but that's my favorite song. It's it is a really really good song, and I do recommend people to check it out. Um, so yeah, the next one that's from Twitter. I'm trying to remember now. Taking my brain. Oh yeah, what do I take of monarchies? Um, yeah, long story short, really. Um, you know, obviously a monarchy, you know, again, I, I, as I always say, it's up to the people to decide of a country, to decide to the what a monarchy, to the what a democracy, to the what the government in charge. Um, in some cases, it's a constitutional monarchy, like in the UK, um, the Queen doesn't really have much power, um, what to say. Um, if it's a, um, a total monarchy, take for example, um, Bonai or something like that, that's a total monarchy. Or what, um, now uh, not in Imperial Germany, um, that was the case of Wilhelm the Second, um, that was a total monarchy. The good the government had a very little. Or oh, 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 in, in the Russian Empire uh, under Tsar Nicholas the Second, um, he made all the decision. One man ruled over a country, and other words in the Senate, and his government didn't have much to say. Um, again, it's up to the people to decide. Again, I would say. You know, just uh, this long, long story now, but I'm talking about it. I just feel like talking about the answer. And there's, few, there's only a few questions so I might as well talk about it. And what's this? Um, but yeah, take for example the kingdom of Norway. The kingdom, okay, the king, this king of Norway is an old king. Um, like, you know, the Oslo terrorist attacks in, I think, 2010, 2011. Um, he sh- and again, I give him high regards for this, but he showed great leadership in that time of crisis in Norway. Um and you know it's, it's you know it's a great leadership he shows, um so you know the majority I think it's eighty two percent of Norwegians want to keep the monarchy and want to continue keeping the monarchy, um as far as I remember too I remember watching the video, that Spain take for example in Spain Spain has a king, um people might not know that I never knew that for a long long time but Spain does have a king, and uh, King Ferdinand I think it is I'm not too sure but um his name. But he is very well unliked. Um, I think it's eighty five percent of the country what the abolished or something like that. And last poor and uh, what the monarchy abolished got rid of got rid of adios out. Um. So you know. So that's you know again the people don't like the Spanish monarchy. Um, the people of Spain don't like the Spanish monarchy. But as I said, the Kingdom of Norway people like the Norwegian monarchy. Oh, the King. Oh yeah, Kingdom of Denmark. I was about to say, um, Queen Margaret of Denmark, um. You know, she's very well liked by your by your people, um, and that that's all that matters. If you're well liked by your people, um, your country's going well, and you know it doesn't cause much in the people, and the people support the monarchy, um, it's all but the people again. It's all but the people what they decide. It's not up to the, uh, a king or a queen to decide. They are a mighty father, and they can rule over people without them saying, um, it's up to the people to vote and say, you know, we want a constitutional monarchy, um, majority of them are constitutional monarchy, no, and not many of them have much power. Um, but it's good for the people to decide, you know, I want a king to represent us, or I want a queen. Um, especially if you have a long history. I don't take an Ireland, like take for example in Ireland. Um, I don't take a king. I don't think it would go down well with the population to have a king. Again, we were subjugated for 800 years by a king. Um, and by kings and, ki- and queens um, from a foreign country. And I don't think that any Irish people would ever want that. I think what we have is a president. I don't even think we need a president. I think we only need the Taoiseach. Compared to President because he's useless at the end of the day, President Higgins. Um, but, you know, again, it's up to the people of Ireland to say, you know, hang on a second, we want a monarchy. Again, if the people of Ireland turned around in the morning and said, you, we want a king, we want a queen, and we want a royal family, um, I'd be like, that's fair enough. If the vast majority, say 87% or something, of the population said, we want a king, or of Calvin came along and said they wanted the king, you know, I would say, oh, more power to them, more power to them. Um, because again, the people spoke, or the people have spoken. That's all you can say. The people have had the word, and that's all. Anyway, take a watch now. Be be safe out there. Bye bye.